Hi, so today we're going to be installing the Fire Chili wig. And it's a frontal wig, and you can find it on my website at www.uniquestyleshair.com. And the first thing you're going to want to do is lay her lay the edges back. And what I'm using is the Tresemme hairspray. I like to use this better than the Got To Be hairspray because I feel like the Got To Be hairspray could, can be too harsh for some people. And especially on the edges, we want to keep our edges, child. We want to keep them. We ain't trying to be bold. We want to keep edges, hunty. So I'm just using my blow dryer to slick them back. Yes, I have a whole stocking cap on. I am going to apply a 30 inch front tool. What, what texture am I using? The natural wave. I'm applying that to my hair next. That's why you see me with a whole stocking cap, child. Don't judge me, okay? Accept me for who I am. <laughs> but no, my hair looked really cute. Um, I would say I insert pictures at the end, but I'm not. Maybe that could be the next video. So now we're just applying the stocking cap. I don't usually use this color. I usually use like a darker one for her skin tone, but I actually ran out. So I only have this one, but we're gonna apply some makeup to it and you're not even gonna be able to tell, child. You're not even gonna be able to tell. We just need something to protect that hair. Um, and I'm using Hair by Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive. And I swear to you, this is the best adhesive on the market. I'm not even gonna sit here and say I tried many because I haven't, but I just like to stick to what I know and what works for me. And Hair by Erica J Adhesive works for me and it works for all my clients that I use it on. They hair lasts about two weeks. After only applying one layer to the cap, I'm going to sew down the back. I like to do this because once you cut the cap, sometimes it rolls up. And I don't like that. I like to keep my foundation as neat as possible. So by me sewing down the back, that helps keep everything nice and neat. So once that glue is dry and the back is sewed down, we're just going to proceed and cut off the cap. So after cutting off the cap, you're going to want to clean her skin off with 99% alcohol and then you proceed on adding the glue for the wig application. So for me, I like to add three layers. You can add as many amount of layers you want, but I add three layers and that 
last my clients two weeks. Um, make sure you apply three thin layers and make sure that the glue is dried, clear, not dried, but make sure it's clear before you proceed on the next layer. So if it's not clear, don't go forward, okay? So after doing three layers, I am going to apply some makeup that's close to her skin tone. And this is the BH Cosmetic Contour Palette. I either use this one or I use the concealer palette, but I like to use the powder much better. And that is the Fire Chili wig that I have in my hand that she is about to put on. It looks so good on, against her skin tone. I love it. Again, if you want to purchase this wig, go on www.uniquestyleshair.com and you will find it in the wigs section. So what you will want to do, you'll apply the wig and you will want to have your dryer on warm setting. And then you're going to want to push that wig into the product. So use your comb, push that into the product, use the warm setting. And that right there will help you get a good seamless installation like wet lace like you know that effect so what i'm going to do i'm going to work on each side i just cut off the air tabs you will definitely want to cut off the air tabs let me say this again you definitely want to cut off the air tabs no wig unless you got a real different type of shape head no wig is fitting you properly if you don't cut off them ear tabs people be trying to save lace and save a girl it's okay this wig is yours it's all right cut off the ear tabs just cut it off just cut it off just cut it off so you will want to cut as close as possible to the um the hairline i like to go into like a zigzag motion i like to create um a different way on how i cut it I like to follow the person hairline. So that's what I'm doing. And then now I'm adding more glue to the rest of the front two part. I'm blocking you guys and I'm super sorry about that. This is my first time actually filming in my studio suite. So I'm just, just bear with me. My setup will be definitely different next time because now I'm seeing where I should put my camera. So just bear with me and yeah so just watch and if i need something important to say i'll come back in okay so you want to push that lace into that glue like what i said i'm telling you it will make your insulation looks flawless okay make sure you push that lace into that glue and again the glue i'm using is here by erica j hold me down look at that lace what lace oh yes so i'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side please excuse the white cast i am gonna put makeup on it and it's gonna look seamless also it looks extra white because she is sitting in front of a ring light that is really bright but we're going to fix that. We're going to fix that. Yes. So that means it does not look that white in person. Before somebody tried to drag me in the comments, it does not look like that in person. At the end, you will see pictures, video, no filter. I don't filter none of my videos or pictures. Thank you. Okay, so after we apply the glue to the lace, everything is glued down. I applied an elastic band, and I'm going to sit her under the dryer for about 15 minutes to make sure everything is nice and dry.
Okay, so now we're going to take the Nairobi foaming mousse and place that on her hairline to form baby hairs. She wanted very simple baby hairs, nothing too dramatic, simple. And that's what we're going to do. It's always what the client wants. We're going to tie that down and we're just going to bump the ends of the hair and we're going to finish up the hairstyle.